Welcome to another ukulele tutorial. I'm Lara, and today I'm going to show you multiple finger picking options for the song Norwegian Wood. We'll start by looking at the riff that makes five appearances, and then I'll show you three beautiful finger picking patterns that you can apply to this song. As we move through each finger picking pattern, we'll walk through the song and how to play it line by line. After the tutorial, stick around for a play along so you can play the entire song along with me. You'll find the lyrics and the chords on screen as well as in a PDF link down in the video description. I want to point out that I'm playing a tenor with a low G. If you have a high G on your instrument, you can follow this entire tutorial. Just keep in mind that your fourth string will be one octave higher than mine. Let's take a look at the five chords that are used in this song. The first chord is G. Next is D minor 7. Then we have C. I'm playing C with my pinky because it's an easy transition from D minor 7 to C, just leaving my pinky right where it is. Then we have G minor. And finally, A minor 7, which is all open strings. Now let's take a look at the famous riff that's played throughout the song. It's played twice in the song introduction, twice in the middle of the song in the instrumental section, and once in the outro at the very end of the song. First I'll play the riff and then we'll walk through it note by note. starts off on our G chord with an added 5th fret on the 1st string. So I'm playing my standard G chord and using my pinky to play this 5th fret. Then I'm holding this G chord and playing strings 3 and then 2. And then I'm going up to the 7th fret with my pinky, going down to fret 5, and then 3. So the first measure sounds like this. For the second measure, we're going back to our standard G chord, picking strings 3 and 2, and then going to an open first string, then to the third fret, and then the second fret. So here's the second measure. For the third measure, I'm going back to my G chord, but I'm only playing down through the second string. Then I'm playing strings 4 and 3. Then I'm going to the first fret of the second string, third fret of the first string, and open second string. So here's our third measure. For the fourth measure, we're going back to our G chord and we're going to pick strings 3 and 4 at the same time. Then we're going back and forth from string 4 to string 3, back to string 4, and then we finish playing strings 1 and 2 together. Here's the full fourth measure. Now here's the entire riff played one more time. Now we've come to our first finger picking pattern. Here's what it sounds like. Let's take a look at how to play this pattern and how to play the first four lines of the song. Here's this pattern played nice and slow. I'm starting off by playing strings one and two together with my middle and ring fingers. Then I'm playing string four with my thumb and string three with my index finger. 
The rhythm of this pattern is one, two, three, one, two, three. Moving into the first line of the song, we're going to play this pattern five times on our G chord. I once had a girl, or should I say? When we get to our D minor seven chord, we're going to finger pick all four strings at once and then do the same on C. And then we go to our G chord and play our pattern twice. The chord sequence is played the same way for line two. So now I'll add in the lyrics and play through lines one and two. I once had a girl, or should I say, she once had me. we're going to play our pattern four times on G minor and then four times on C. For the fourth line, we'll play our pattern four times on G minor, twice on A minor seven, and then twice on C. lyrics for lines three and four. She asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere. So I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair. If you're enjoying this tutorial, Please give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for subscribing. I very much appreciate your support for this channel. Now we've come to our second finger picking pattern. Here's what this one sounds like. Let's take a look at this pattern up close and how to play lines five and six. Here's this pattern played nice and slow. I'm playing string four with my thumb, string three with my index finger, string two with my middle finger, back to string three with my index finger, and then down to string one with my ring finger. The rhythm of this pattern is one and two and three and. Now moving into lines five and six, these two lines are played the same way as lines one and two. We're just using a different finger picking pattern. So we'll play this pattern five times on our G chord. Then we'll finger pick all four strings on D minor seven, all four strings on C, and then we'll play our pattern twice again on G. Now adding in the lyrics for lines five and six. I sat on a rug, biding my time, drinking her wine. We talked until two, and then it's time for bed. Now we've come to our third finger picking pattern. Here's what this one sounds like. Let's take a close look at this one and how to play the last four lines of the song. Here's this pattern played nice and slow. I'm starting by playing strings one and four at the same time with my thumb and ring finger. Then I'm playing string three with my index finger, 
string two with my middle finger, string four with my thumb, and string three with my index finger. The rhythm of this pattern is one and two and three and. Now looking at lines seven and eight, these two lines are played the same way as lines three and four. So for line seven, we'll play our pattern four times on G minor and then four times on C. For line eight, we'll play our pattern four times on G minor, twice on A minor seven, and twice on C. lyrics for lines seven and eight. She told me she worked in the morning and started to laugh. I told her I didn't and crawled off to sleep. Lines 9 and 10 are played the same way as lines 1 and 2, so we'll play our pattern five times on G. Then we'll finger pick all four strings on D minor 7, all four strings on C, and play our pattern twice on G. And we'll do the same for line 10. Now adding in the lyrics for these last two lines. And when I awoke, I was alone. This bird had flown. So I lit a fire. Isn't it good? Your region would. Now we've come to our play along. I'm going to play through the entire song instrumental only so you can really hear how I move through the different finger picking patterns. You can choose any one pattern to play through the entire song or you can alternate between them. The riff that we learned in the earlier part of the tutorial is used twice in the introduction, twice in the middle of the song, and once at the end of the song. If you're practicing the riff but you're not yet comfortable with it, then an alternative is to finger pick the chords in line one using any one of the finger picking patterns. You can do that instead of playing the riff each time the riff comes up throughout the song. If you would find it helpful to have a slower tempo on this play along, then feel free to slow down the playback speed of the video down in the video settings. Now let's get started with our play along and I will count us in. One, two, three, four, five, six.
enjoyed this tutorial and learning three beautiful finger picking patterns for this song. Have fun with your ukulele and thank you for watching. Thank you.